There are three ways to, avoid, three wake ways to avoid wake turbulence. First, avoid, First, flying, avoid through flying through or right, or right below, below another aircraft's, aircraft's flight path. path. As wake turbulence, As wake turbulence is created and moves away, and moves from, away the from the airplane, it descends, it descends at around 300 to 500 feet per minute. Feet per minute. Next, during, Next takeoff, during takeoff, you should rotate, you should rotate prior, to the, prior to the larger airplane's rotation point, rotation point. And, if possible, and if possible, climb above, above its climb path. path. However, However, if a jet, if a jet takes, takes off, it's unlikely, it's unlikely that a Cessna 172 can climb, climb it. So the Cessna's course should be altered to the upwind side to avoid flying through the jet's wake. Alternatively, you Alternatively, could, wait at, you could wait at least three minutes for the wake turbulence to dissipate. This may be the best approach when there is a slight crosswind as the crosswind can push the vortex over several the runway minutes. for several minutes. Finally, during approach, Finally, and, landing, during approach and landing, approach slightly, approach than slightly higher than the other airplane's, other airplane's and flight touch path down beyond and touch their down touchdown beyond point. Their touchdown if, point. The if the pilot of a small like aircraft, a like a Cessna 172, is taking off from an intersection, the controller will require, the controller three, minutes will require of three minutes of separation behind a larger, behind a larger According aircraft. To the FAA, According the to the FAA, the pilot can waive this weight turbulence issuance from ATC. However, at Embry-Riddle, it is against our procedures to waive a weight turbulence delay. This delay allows the wake this turbulence, allows the the wake turbulence from the dissipate, larger aircraft to dissipate to and allow normally. you to depart normally. Full-length departures behind a large aircraft, Full -length and, departures taking behind a large aircraft have landed, and taking off do not after a larger aircraft has landed a three do not require ATC to give a three-minute delay, three delay, three delay for wake turbulence because the wake turbulence isn't as strong. You will still have to depart and maneuver to avoid the wake turbulence. Or you can request a three-minute delay from ATC to allow the wake turbulence to dissipate. Keep in mind that, that an intersection runway, takeoff from within 500 feet of the approach end of the runway the is still considered a full-length departure for the purposes of wake turbulence separation. If you do end up flying into wake turbulence, you will experience some turbulence, and the aircraft can, also, an an aircraft can also begin an uncommanded be roll. Sure if this happens to you, be sure that you are flying at the appropriate airspeed, that is, below maneuvering speed. This will protect the airplane from damage and will help you react wake turbulence to counteract the roll. Aircraft. Wake By turbulence is an invisible threat forms, to all aircraft. By knowing how and where it forms, you can do your best to avoid this potentially hazardous situation.